cutie. Mm -hmm. I think this is all my toodles. Hey guys, tomorrow is the first. And I thought I would go ahead and do this video. Um, if you watched my video I did earlier, I did a lip gloss declutter, I believe it was. So that should be uploading soon. Doing another video. Tomorrow's the first, so usually on the first, I always switch out palettes. So I was using this palette and calling it the first this palette of the month. Because um, I was always doing a pa palette power start, but I'm not doing that. I was supposed to pin, you know, a certain shade, but I quit doing that. But this is the palette that was used for that. I'm going to put this palette up. And I'm going to bring out this little Sunset Kiss palette. I want to give it a little bit more use. If I happen to pan a shade out of here, if I don't, that's okay. Any other palettes I'm using, if I happen to pan a shade, I'll pan a shade. Um, I do have a palette I will be putting back in my makeup collection on Fall Day, which is the 21st of, the, of October. <sighs> and since my birthday is on the 16th of October, I have the uh, another palette that I'm using. And I'll probably put that one up and get one of the new palettes that I have. It could be one of my Juvia's Place palettes. It could even maybe be this palette. My Quinn, is this, what is this? I think this is Estee Lauder. Yeah, Essay Lauder palette, or it could be my um, or this palette that I pick to be to bring it into my collection. But what this video is, I always do every year, I do a Halloween project pan. So I always pick out a mascara, a palette. Uh, concealer, eyeshadow primer, lipstick, and a hair product. So, as getting into it, with the hair product, I'm going to... Let me put my glasses on so I can read this for you. Sorry if the music's a little loud. It's YouTube, and I'm not trying to put different songs in here deliberately. I was just watching YouTube as I was cleaning up my office. This is a Suave um, Keratin Fusion Salon Proven Heat Defense. This is a leave-in conditioner. So if you don't wash your hair, I can pull this and put conditioner in my hair. I do have to use this by the end of this month. It has to be gone. I'm not going to say it will be gone, but I'm hoping half of it will be. Um, I'm going to put this on my dresser in there, and I'm going to let my husband know. This is like conditioner you can use on your hair, so he can use it as well. That is in a project pan that I need to use. Um, for lipsticks, I have this MAC lipstick. It's in the shade. Um, I think it's a Vista Glam. Vista Glam is in the shape Glam anyway. The Glam is one of them. Um, it's actually number 20 on my lipsticks. But I don't have much to use, use on it. So I thought, what the heck. It is kind of rough, patchy. But I don't want to just throw it away because it is my very first MAC lipstick I ever had. And I got it from a from a friend in a makeup swamp. So I do want to use this particular lipstick up. Y'all all know I'm using this in my shop my stash now and I told y'all I was going to leave it in there until it was finished. This I put in this project pan for Halloween because I know I should be able to use that by the end of Halloween. So I got to have it done by October 31st, these products. I cannot say the lipstick may or may not be gone. It depends. I do have another lipstick out that will be going back put up. So I can bring the, the MAC lipstick up. 
So today, when I put the, my Project Pan products over there, I will be taking the lipstick. I using that I had on my lips in my first video. It's halfway gone by now. I'll take that lipstick and I'll be putting it up and bringing in the MAC. So I'll have just two lipsticks because I have one in Project Pan now. I'm trying to finish up. And then I have this one I want to finish up. If I don't get this one finished up by the end of October, I'm actually just going to throw it away because it is a Project Pan by then. It's not going to go in the trash, but it will go in my Project Pan empties. For concealers, I pick this one. I do have one I could have done that I'm using now. It's the CoverGirl, and I, but I decided not to because I think the CoverGirl one. Got something on. This really got something there. Anyway, the CoverGirl one. I think it's almost done, but this one is like this. So I'm actually going to use this one up. My cousin actually bought me this one because she bought one for. Bought it for her and did not like it. It's by Popfeel. That's a full coverage concealer. She didn't like it at all. She said it made her face look too orangey. But I'm using it. It is a little patchy. But I want to get it out of my collection. And I just don't want to throw it away. For palettes. I picked this NYC palette. NYC is actually i don't think nyc is a makeup company no more i think they discontinued nyc i'm not for sure but i have this little palette oops and it's just sitting here saying use me use me and i really got this in a makeup salon and i really haven't been using it period i haven't so my deal is to use this palette whether i pan a shade or not just to use it until the end of the month is all i'm gonna do if I pan a shade, fine. If I don't, fine. Then for mascaras, since I know I don't have much mascara in here and I did want to get another one, this is an Urban Decay Perversion pal Palette. Yeah, it's a Perversion Palette. Perversion Mascara. So, it's still good. It's not bad it's still good i'm gonna use it but if it starts to burn my eyes or hurt my eyes when i use it then yes i probably will will pitch it um but i'm using this until the end of october and then it will go in the go in my project pan empty basket one other thing i did i was doing when i did my the glossy clutter i was going to mention this was a video i was actually going to do today so I'm going to add it with this so I don't have to make another video and it's all together. And maybe it might be a little long, but not too long. This I bought at the store, of course. I started a makeup inventory. Okay. And my lip glosses are not the same. It says here I have a certain amount, but I don't because I got rid of some. So... I got rid of four. So, let's take five away. I don't even have to move. So, anyway, um, I'm going to estimate. It's because, okay. For my lipsticks, I counted, I have 35 lipsticks, which is not bad. Um, that's bullet lipsticks for liquid lipsticks, and I did count this one in as well with the lipsticks I have, but it will go down. For liquid lipsticks, I have 32. Lip glosses, I have 21. My big eyeshadow palettes, I have 41. Um, I counted, I ordered a Julia Slice palette, it's coming in, so I counted that one in as well. Um, little eyeshadow palettes, I have 28. Single shadows, I have 53. No, 54, excuse me. For face primers, I have 9. Concealers, I have 4. Concealers. For highlighters, I have 16. For eyeshadow primers, I have 4. Setting sprays, I have 4. Setting powders, I have 2. Brows, I have 13. Eyeliners, I have 8. Mascaras, 11. 
Foundations for liquid, I have 15. For powders, I have 10. Blushes, I have 11. And bronzers, I have 6. And that is my makeup inventory. And I want to keep track of my makeup inventory. So, what I'm basically going to do is like with this one. This is 2020. So, this is my 2020 inventory. So, I'm not going to put like, you know, January 2020. I'm just going to put 2020, the year. So, I'll be making another inventory like this. And I just write it like this on the paper. So, I'll be doing another inventory for like 2021. And I'll be counting how much I have. But I really don't want to count it until the... Like, I don't want to start off counting at the very beginning of the month. Which would be okay to start... Actually, at the, uh, in the month of January, it would be good to start my inventory of what I do have. But, then you're going to, which is good. And then, by the end of the year, you will know, oh, by October, and I'll say by October, I'll do it in October, count up my makeup, how much I have. When I do a makeup declutter, I want to have a inventory for makeup declutter. I want to put down how much eyeshadows how much makeup I decluttered at the end of the year you know like oh well for the month for 2020 I decluttered 60 eyeshadow palettes I want to have that record so if I did a makeup because I do a makeup declutter twice a, twice a year um I do one in the month of January and I do one in the month of May so that's like for the month of June or well, May I do update no January and may I do updated makeup collection videos, whatever. And then I want to do declutters in between the years. So in December, I do a makeup declutter before it's time to start. And then I do another makeup declutter in, in June, which gets me ready for July, August, September, October, November, and December. So you go six and six. So you're doing it twice a year, declutters, and twice a year you're doing your makeup declutters and you're doing updated makeup collections and that's for me what i want so that's what i want to start doing coming this year for 2021 i want to have um inventory start doing my inventory and i want to do a declutter inventory so i have another notebook for a makeup inventory for that too. I will buy. Um, I will get another one of these. I have another one somewhere here. Or I will buy me another one. And I will do a makeup declutter inventory. So I know what I decluttered. So if I decluttered four little eyeshadow palettes. I want to make sure I do declutter four eyeshadow palettes. You know when I do a makeup declutter or whatever. For, I want to do another one, I just thought of it too, for a Project Pan inventory on Project Pan. So, when I do my, my declutter inventory, I will put down, you draw a line in between. You have the paper like this, I'll draw a line in here, put Project Pan inventory and not Project Pan. So, if, say the month of October, I used up... Uh, six products you know and it's going in my empties video then I can put it here because that's like empties and it's showing I didn't declutter but it's videos I am I did empty out and showing what I had and what I used now when I do do the the, the when I do my makeup um declutter videos that means i don't want the products when i do my project pan empties and i write it down with my makeup declutter and i write it down if say for instance i loved this palette then i'm going to take whether it be pink orange green whatever and highlighter and highlight the name of that product then I'm going to get me either a 
sticky note or you know somewhere an index card and I'm going to write down that I like that product that I used it up so I'll take that product okay I used this NYC shadow up I want it again I'll go on Amazon and look for it but when I'm out and about and I have money and I'm out and about in the stores I will buy it again I'm going to have a I have a thing I have a drawer for backup drawer and I've got makeup in there as well so when I start buying makeup for backup I'm not opening up any of it until December because like I said before and I'll say it again I have I have three other products up here too um clean and clear Olay and another one there face products I want to use in project pan as well they got stickers on them and I want to get those and start using those right now I'm not using those but I do want to use them I have a lot of things I want to use up and I figured putting it in a project pan may get me to use it and then again it may not so I figured if I use them start using them and I have them finished I want to start using them not now but I will start using them in the month of December so I'll go December January February March April May if I don't use them up by May they're gonna go in the trash I want to start picking a product out using it by a certain length of time like these okay this may not get used up by the end of October if it don't I'll use it November too and try to finish it up by the end of November it's the same with the concealer or anything I have in project pan I have so many project pans products in project pan I just really don't know what to do so that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it for those who are new to my channel I just want to say welcome um, I hope you enjoy this don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are enjoying this video um, and you want to see more videos like this or you want to see more of my videos I mean I can goofy then just click that notification bell and everything I was feeling this this morning but now evidently I feel pretty good another thing if you have a Kroger's near you okay are you really listening go to Kroger's it's seven dollars a box I know it's kind of expensive but they have these macaroni cheese bites that are so delicious that I literally just finished my husband and I just recently Sunday bought the box when they got back from camping we went to Kroger's got milk and got the box and it's Wednesday and I already ate the whole box just about and I'm ready for more they're that good so bye guys